All right, what's up everyone? If you have ever wondered how to effectively dry off your car, or if you're at Home Depot and you wanna buy a uh, leaf blower, but you're not sure what's more important, CFM or at miles per hour, uh, I'm gonna try and explain that today. I don't know for sure either, uh, but I did go out and buy two different machines um, to test and see which one works better. So my car is wet right here. I just washed it. If you didn't see the video on this where I reviewed a new foam can in, I'll link that up in the uh, description or up top here for you guys so you can see that. It's an incredible foam can in. But we're gonna go ahead and test out two different leaf blowers, one with a lower CFM rating, which is uh, the volume of air that it moves, uh, and a higher miles per hour rating. And the other one has a lower miles per hour, higher CFM. So we're gonna try and see if we can kind of debunk this and figure out what you need to effectively clean, uh, dry your car or to effectively move dirt, leaves, and all the other stuff around your house. So stay tuned, we're gonna check these out. All right guys, so for this video, uh, we're gonna be testing these two different Toro machines. One uh, here is just a blower, the other one is a blower and kind of a vac system where it mulches your leaves. So if that's what you're looking for around the house, that's probably gonna be the solution for you. Um, however, doesn't matter the brand, we're looking at the CFM and miles per hour rating. So we're gonna jump into my computer real quick and look at those uh, of these two machines. It's basically one has twice the amount of CFM and one has twice the miles per hour. So we should be able to get a good uh, test. Guys, so here are the two units that I'm using in my test. These are the two units that I actually have and I'm using in this uh, video. Um, the one on the left uh, comes with the extra ex accessories because it has a vacuum attachment to it so you can actually mulch leaves and things like that. So, um, but that's not important to us for this video. In this video, we're just trying to see which is more important, miles per hour, uh, the higher my miles per hour rating or the higher C CFM rating. Um, so basically the one on the left here, um, it, you, as you can see, it is rated at 260 miles per hour versus the one on the right um, is actually rated at 140 miles per hour. So basically this one over here on the left has twice the mile per hour rating as this one, just about. However, if we're looking at CFM, this one uh, on the left again has 340 CFM. The one on the right has a CFM rating of 725. So a little more than double the CFM rating. Um, they are both 12 amp motors, uh, everything else is the same. They're from the same brand. Um, so they're both gonna be very similar in that, uh, in that perspective, but the only difference here is the really heavy mile per hour rating on the left and the really high CFM rating on the right. So we're gonna go ahead and jump back in the video now and test them out. Alrighty guys, so for this test, I'm gonna be using one of the blowers on this back portion of the car. Uh, luckily, this is an older car, classic, and it's pretty flat on the, on the back, as well as the top. They're pretty much the same exact angle. This one has a little bit bigger of a surface area, um, but we should be able to get a good idea of which one's blowing the water off and getting the car dry faster. Um, so. For the start, we're gonna start off on the uh, trunk here, and we're gonna be using the Toro. This is the one that I always use in the past. This is the higher miles per hour unit. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and test it with that right on here, and then we'll move on to the top one. And I'm gonna try and set you guys up as good as I can so that you can see how much water is moving. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick it up on camera, but I'll do my best. All right, you guys, so as you can see, the back end of this car is completely wet. Um, the car is protected, so keep that in mind, so things should come off of it easier than if it wasn't protected. But since we're comparing apples to apples here, we'll, we'll know which one kind of works better. Alrighty, I've got her plugged in, can you see me? Anyways, got her plugged in, here we go. guys so just a slight bit of tiny tiny water droplets left over but other than that it's dry and uh, looking good so really fast that thing works great uh, we will weigh the two just so you guys can have an idea of what the difference is there but I'm gonna go ahead and set you up on an angle to see the roof now 
All right, guys, so you can see the roof well. You can see all the water drops on it. I'm gonna hook up the other machine um, that has the higher CFM rating and test that out and see how it works. All righty, here we go. Alrighty guys, so I would say probably about the same performance. Let's sit down and talk about this real quick. Alrighty guys, so which one of these is better? Um, I don't know, they both work super, super well. Uh, the reason, here's my background on this. I've been using this machine for a very, very long time. I got this because in my head, the higher miles per hour rating made more sense to me. Um, I had used other machines in the past that had a lower mile per hour and they didn't work very well. However, those also had a low CFM. So I got this, it works great. The only problem that I see with it is when I'm blowing out uh, crevices, like uh, drying out the inner portion of the side mirrors that you always get drips on constantly and constantly and it's super annoying. This one seemed to just blow it all around in the back. This one seemed to blow it all around, but also because the higher volume of air, it seemed to dry it out also. So I do like this one better. It's about the same weight. Um, I will hook them up to, actually I'm not gonna weigh them because I'm not, that's, we're not reviewing these two specifically. We're just trying to figure out miles per hour versus CFM. Um, so with that said guys, I think it may be a case of similar to pressure washers, you kind of multiply the PSI times the GPM and you get your cleaning units number, right? The higher the cleaning units, the better. Um, and I think it may be a similar situation with these. So. I have my little notes here. And so this unit here is 260 miles per hour versus this one is 140 miles per hour. So basically, basically half. Um, this is basically twice as powerful on the miles per hour. However, on the CFM, this one is 340 CFM this one is 725 CFM. So again, double the CFM over here. So if we were to look at that, let's look at the cleaning units of this machine. We're gonna multiply 260 miles per hour by 340 CFM. So 260 times 340, and that gives us 88,400. And again, I don't know if that's a proper way of thinking, but that's how I'm thinking about it. 88,400. Um, 88,400, that is on this machine. 240, 200, I'm confused. Sorry guys, hang on one second. Let's see here if I can get to my pictures again. This machine, 260 miles per hour times 340 CFM, 88,400 or whatever it was. This machine is 140 miles per hour at 725 CFM. So 140 times 725. is 101,500. So, in, I kind of think this one does a better job and it is slightly more, I don't know if that's a cleaning units, I don't know if that actually makes sense, but multiplying those two together, this one seems to be the winner and I do like this one a little bit more. So, I do think the higher CFM is uh, more beneficial over the miles per hour. However, because this has such a high mile per hour, it makes up for it and kind of evens out. Um, I have used some of the cheaper units from Black & Decker and things like that. Um, let's see if I can find one for you guys. Let me go on Home Depot real quick and let's look at a, compar a comparative unit. 
All right, guys, so I'm looking at uh, homedepot.com right now. Um, this is a sponsored ad, so I don't know if they have it in store or not, but basically it's a Sun Joe electric leaf blower, similar to these units, they, you have to plug them in. Um, this one that I'm looking at is only $18.91. However, it is 155 mile per hour wind, uh, which is more than this guy, but it's only 200 CFM. Um, and the CFM on, yeah, so it's, below the CFL on this one as well, but um, that unit, again, 155 times 200, I should be able to do that math in my head, but I trust a calculator more than my head, is only 31,000. So I think that's kind of our indicator, guys. Take the, the miles per hour and the CFM together, and as long as you're sitting around 80,000 plus, you're gonna, it's gonna be a great unit uh, and, and a great choice to clean your, or to dry your vehicle, to move stuff around the house. I think if you are trying to move heavy leaves and things like that, they say that the higher CFM is better. So um, yeah, I, I hope that helps you guys. I think that's a, a general rule of thumb. You can multiply those two together and as long as you're sitting at that 80,000 mark or above, it's gonna be a good choice to clean off, uh, to dry off vehicles and make your life a lot easier. So uh, again, I hope that helps. I'm gonna link these down below as along with some other options um, on Amazon that you guys can and, uh, go and check because these are, I think this was like 60 bucks and 70 bucks at Home Depot, but on Amazon, they're like a hundred bucks or something. So um, I don't wanna give you guys that information, but I will find some compar comparable units on Amazon for you that have the higher ratings and so you can pick those up. All right guys, thank you so much again. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. We'll see you guys on the next one.